This is the wave machine. The wave machine is a really nice way of showing things about a transverse wave. Okay? Let me just show you a couple of things about it. There's a, there's a wire that goes all the way across here, and all of these rods here that go across are actually all attached to that wire. So, if I make a movement down on this end, Oh, it transfers that energy. And remember I said earlier that waves are all about transferring energy from one side to the next. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to show you several things about it. Yes. Um, but first of all, what's neat. Now, I just sent one little bit of energy going across. You notice it got to the end and it reflected back. And that's one thing that waves do. They reflect. They can reflect. And you see that all the time. Every time you look in a mirror, Light bounces off of something, like uh, like you know, bounces off the surface of the mirror, comes back at your face. That's a reflection. So we can also set it up so we have a transverse wave. Can you guys see the crests? Yes. yes. Can you see the troughs? Yes. yes. Now, one thing we can do is we can change the amplitude, couldn't we? Yes. <coughs> I'm going to change the amplitude. I'm going to make it a taller wave. <laughs> I have to put a different amount of energy into it, don't I? I have to put a different amount of energy into it. Now, now I could go really, really slow, so I'm not putting very much energy into it at all, right? What's happened to the wavelength? Yeah, it's getting longer. And when we talk about wavelength, we want to use the word long, right? Or short. It could be a long wavelength or it could be a short wavelength. Right? Okay. Now, now I could go a little bit faster. I could put more energy into it, right? What's happened to the wavelength? Yeah, it's gotten much shorter. It definitely has gotten much shorter. So, that tells us something, doesn't it? That tells us something. The more energy you put into something, uh, into a wave, then the higher, we say, the higher the uh, frequency is, the frequency, and the shorter the wavelength. So this word frequency is the number of waves that pass by a certain point in a given time. Are there a lot of waves going by now? Yes. Yeah. So we say it has a high frequency. Short wavelength, high frequency. Long wavelength. Low frequency. Okay. There are some other really neat things you can show with this. Um, you can show uh, some interference. Wave interference is really cool because I can send I can send a wave coming from both directions, can I? I can have a wave from this side, and I can start a wave from this side, and they're going to meet in the middle, aren't they? So what do you think happens when a crest of a wave and a crest of a wave hit each other? We have two crests that hit um, each other. What do you think is going to happen to the size of the wave if two crests meet each other? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to do it actually from the back. And what I'm going to do is I am going to push down in the back, which is going to make the front go up. And I'm going to try and do it as best I possibly can at the same time. Here we go. Three. Do you notice how this wave in the center where it hit was actually taller than the rest of the waves at a higher amplitude? And then the same thing, do you think the same thing would be true about if two troughs hit each other? That it would go, instead of higher, it would go lower. So let's take a, take a look. One, two, three. So, so if I had this one, I had a crest coming across, and then I had a wave, or I'm sorry, a trough coming across. Okay, well, let's take a look. So I'm going to make one side go up and the other side go down, if I can do this right. One, two, three. It, yeah, right about in this area, it pretty much stayed still, didn't it? One wave will actually come across, the other will come across, and they will actually cancel each other out. 
It's like if you have a positive in integer and an equal negative in integer, they'll cancel each other out. Right? Isn't that interesting? So, yeah, math works in this, doesn't it? Yes? If I hit it in the middle, what do you think is going to happen? Right in the center, which is right about here. It's going to travel out. And it's just like dropping a stone. Let's say we go out to a pond and we drop a stone in the middle of the pond. Okay. Have you ever done that? Thrown a stone, a rock into a pond? It starts spreading out in all directions. Start spreading out in all directions. Once you start to learn more about waves, you can do some really neat things with waves, especially even with sound waves. You can do things with sound waves where um, they have special microphones that you can, or sorry, not uh, microphones, headphones that you can put on your ears that actively listen to sounds around them. And they're actually measuring the wavelengths that are trying to get to your ears. And they send out the opposite wavelength, which will actually go and cancel out the sound.